Hello there, it's Claire here from My Creative Spirit with a new project to share with you and one that featured on Graphic 45's blog um, this week. I've put the link to that post below so that you can see pictures of the album that's inside. I didn't do any instructions, it was really nice just to be creative and just make the project from start to finish without stopping and writing and doing all the things that you have to do when you write instructions to go with something. Um, the box, it's um, a little box with a lift off lid, is one of our new products that's coming soon on the website and it will hold um, cards or um, jam jars. It's been made as a presentation box so that you can put two jars of micro-preserves or homemade chutneys or um, bath gubbins, all sorts of things. Um, and it will come with the album covers as well if you wanted to make um, an album as a gift to go in it. So the little box with its lift-off lid is altered in papers from the Enchanted Forest collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. Greens, golds, browns, um, with all of the heraldry emblems here, or shields, um, that I've used. I really like that paper, so I've used them as the feature on the box and then coordinated the papers everywhere else to go with them. And I don't know if you can see, but I've picked out, maybe not, oh you can there. Um, I've picked out alternate shields, top and bottom rows, with glossy accents as well, just um, to highlight them. I really love them. So that's the box. And then the little album that goes inside is a 6x6 album. It's got um, six little pages and the structure is quite simple. So I thought I'd just flip through the pages. All of the pictures are on the blog post um, via the link below to Graphic 45's blog so that you can see what the pages look like and the papers that I've used. Um, I've also incorporated Graphic 45's new larger tags. That's the size of the tag. And I've added fronts to all of mine so that you can put more inside. So they've all got lift up fronts and I think this one's the only one with a decorated top. So those are in here and also the lovely little pockets or policy envelopes. These are the mini sized ones in the black but they come in red and they come in four different sizes as well. So we've got those running through the album too. A lovely place to put your little keepsakes. Um, there's one style of page in here and then um, the separate page sets have been altered um, and pockets added. So I'm going to show you how to make the basic album and then you can um, use your papers to alter it however you like. Really nice size, great for using your 6x6 pads on um, as all the papers have to be cut down to smaller size than that. So that's another little fold out album tag pocket. Um, these have got pockets with both sides, so little pockets for you to pop things under. I love the colours. I love how all the um, colours coordinate. I know lots of people think Graphic 45 papers are really fussy and you don't know where to start, but actually they all blend together really, really well when you lay them out and work the colourways together. Oh, we've got a little red pocket in here. The policy of That's the back, another large black tag. So that's the little album. Um, let me show you how to make it. Just read through the um, instructions on what you need and gather all your pieces and then you'll be ready to follow along. So starting with your two large squares of black card, Join them together with double sided tape along the eight and a quarter inch edge. So just overlap them like that. And then we're going to start with the spine. Mine's fallen on the floor, so let's just grab it. And with some tacky glue, I'm just going to stick the spine down onto the centre of the card. 
that. Just remember that the centre line that you can see where the papers are joined isn't the centre of um, the spine. It will be slightly offset depending on which way your join goes. Then take some um, double-sided tape. Let's just trim my little bit on the phone my tape line. And put a strip down either side of your spine piece. And that just helps to support the fold where the covers fold forwards. So I don't take the backing tape off, I leave that on. Like that. And then bring in your covers, and they're going to get stuck either side of the spine. You can use a shim, which is two pieces of um, the material that you're using. So this is two millimeter chipboard. So you could, but two pieces up against your spine and then draw a line. Not easy when you've got tape with a plastic backing on. Um, but I can sort of see a guideline. Or you can just make sure that you've got a four millimetre gap. So I'm just going to do that with my pencil so I can see where I'm going to stick these two pieces. And then take your glue all the way around the edge. Don't forget to go across the middle so that your um, paper on the front or your card on the front cover stays stuck to the chipboard. Stick them both down. Want to use a bone folder to spread that out then do so that it's flat so get those into position just make sure that your top edges are level across the long edges and then when you're happy with where they're stuck take your double-sided tape i'm a really lazy crafter i like to go all the way around in one go you know how hard it is to get the backing off this red tape so i just sort of see but I just take the tape around the corners because I'm going to cut the corners off in a minute. You might want to stop start cut it or you might be using a, a tape that you can rip like the score tape. This red tape keeps losing or the, the tape keeps coming off the backing for some reason. Let's sort it out. Start again. Let's just trim this end up. Now my scissors are completely covered in it. Let's just go round the corner here. And then if you've gone round in one piece, you can pull that backing tape off in one go. Mine's in two pieces and the backing tape doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we are. So let's get rid of that. And then you want to mitre your corners and it's really important to leave a scissors width of card showing underneath the corner of your chipboard. So again you can draw a line with your ruler if you want up against, so put your ruler up against the corner and then draw a line on the outside and that becomes your cutting line or just cut, making sure that you leave a little bit of card sticking out. So go all the way around and do your corners. And now you're ready to start folding. So I always fold away from myself. So I push down on the chipboard, 
just to start the fold going along the long edges and then I turn around and do the same again and once that second fold's done I start folding over from the top and from the centre sticking the card down onto the chipboard. Now if you want to go over that with a brayer to flatten it down you do just helps it to stick or a bone folder or your ruler and then do the same on the other long side. So start from the centre all the way along and stick down. And once you've done that you'll see in the corners that you've got little triangles of black card or card whatever colour you're using sticking out over the top of the chipboard. You want to push them in towards the middle just so that they cover the very corner of the chipboard and then same again use your surface to start your fold going and stick those ends down and that way you'll get a really nice sharp corner on your album so squash in squash in lift up and fold over now if like here you've got quite a lot of card sticking out at the corner you can just trim it back a little bit just to reduce the little straight edge before the angle starts so i'm just going to squash that one in again lift up and stick down if you don't leave that little um If you don't leave that little gap of card showing under the corners, when you fold your card up over the chipboard, you'll have a chipboard gap showing. So that's really important. And then what you want to do is push down so that your card falls into the gutter or the gap between your spine and your covers. And you can do that with a ruler if you want to. So you get a nice dip in the cards card or cardstock. Then I always just, from the spine side, squash the album covers so that it's only the spine that's at the back and the album covers start in front of it. So that's your little binder made, cute little binder. If you want to go around and just sort of square off all of your edges with a bone folder, do. And now we're going to stick the spine mounts in. So bring in your pieces have three. Three with the sticky uppy side bits and then one large piece which is your five inches by five and three quarters. Five and three quarters is the height of your pages and your spine mounts so that length wants to go running top to bottom. Put double sided tape on one side of this five by five and three quarter inch piece. Take off your backings now I've done these tape sections in strips so that um, the tape sits flat at the corners. And then before I stick that into the album, I'm just going to put two strips of tape just on the chipboard here, just to hold the piece down firmly onto the spine. Let's just take that. If you keep it on the chipboard only, then definitely can't be seen when your album's made up. Take the backings off. And with the long sides running top and bottom, centre this piece over the spine and you're centering it really between the top and bottom edges of your album. And it's going to give you the line for these pieces to be stuck in and for your pages to sit. So just check that you've got an even gap between the edges of this um, piece that you're adding and the top and bottom edges of your album. And then stick it down and fold up your spine. Again, pushing the card down into the gap. It doesn't want to go to start with, but it will ease in. You can use your fingers or a ruler again to push it in place. 
and then just wiggle your album spine just so that it falls into place and starts to bend up nicely. You'll find as well, if your spine starts to split as you're folding up your covers, then the covers were too close to the spine when you put the album together. You need to have a good four millimetre gap. So there we are, nice little album, spine covered, you can't see down the top and bottom, and we're ready to put our page mounts in. So I'm going to use tacky glue for this, and I'm going to take the smallest one first, fold back the sides. So this is the one and a half inch by five and three quarter inch piece. I'm going to put tacky glue. You don't need lots and lots of tacky glue. It doesn't need to be dripping in glue. Just enough to smooth out and for it to touch the sides of that flat center section and then take this piece and sit it centrally over the middle sized one and try and get it as straight as possible because this is what your pages are going to sit on so if this is straight then your pages will sit straight stick it there and fold up your flaps and make sure that it's stuck right to the outer edges of that centre section. It's a good way of checking that it's sitting in straight as well. And then when you're happy with how that's sitting, take your larger section, turn your middle sized one over. So this is the two and a quarter by five and three quarter one. And put glue all the way around it. You could use double sided tape. I like to use glue because you've got a little bit of wriggle time, jiggle time, if you want to move your piece around. Whereas with tape, once you've stuck it down, it's stuck down. Unless, of course, you put a little bit of glue on the top of it just to allow it to move and slide into place. So again, press it down really firmly, lift up the side flaps, Make sure that they're nicely stuck down and straight. Like that. And there you've got your six mounts for your spine to sit on. And then just take your scissors from the top edge and just cut off the corners down to the point where the sticky up bit joins the flat section. So no particular angle, just cut them away. So when you put your pages on, you're not getting a double thickness of card showing in your album. I always find it's easier to do this before the, the piece goes into the album. Now, if, like me, you never cut things exactly the same length, and you find that some of those little mounts are slightly longer than the others, just trim it back. And now you're ready to stick this into your album. So let's bring the little album in. At this stage, it doesn't matter which way is the top or bottom. So I'm just going to take this piece, and this is the larger piece, so the three by five and three quarters. Again, I'm going to use tacky glue. Tacky glue, of course, is the cheaper option for sticking as well. Smooth it down so that it comes right to the edges. And then center it. You can see where the um, spine finishes. You want to center your piece between those spine folds and sit it lined up with the top and bottom edge of that black piece that you stuck in to start with. And when you're happy with where that's sitting, Press it into place. Like that. So now we're ready to put our pages into our album. Let's just 
fold that down, fold that side down, so let's put that to one side and bring in the pages. Now all the pages are cut at 11 inches by 5 and 3 quarters, 5 and 3 quarters is the depth and I'll show you how to score them first. Mine's going to be upside down just for a minute. Let's get it in so you can see the measurements. So I'm going to score from one short end at one and a half inches. And then I'm going to turn, well, I'm not going to turn actually, I'm going to score in from the other short end at five and three quarters. And that gives us the page and then I'm going to fold over on the five and three quarter line and back on the one and a half line and that creates a pocket under here and a pocket here and then where's my black tape now you could stick them together with um, tape under here but if you do that, you lose the depth of your page. You could cut them out with tabs on if you wanted to, or add construction strips. But I'm going to use our black masking tape. So I'm going to cut a piece that is approximately the length of that um, section. And I'm just going to start it by the fold, stick it to one side, Take my scissors, trim it back, and then I'm going to trim that corner back. Just lift this corner up a little bit and trim the end back as well. And by doing that, you're joining your page, and then I'm going to just on my work surface fold it over and stick it down. And that's stuck that top edge and by doing that you haven't lost any depth in your page uh, so I'm going to do the same on the bottom edge to make it easier you could start off with a point if you start off with a point and put the point at the folded end you don't have to go back and trim it if you stick it in the right place And then I'm just going to use the work surface to fold it over and stick it to the other side of the card. So then you've got a nice pocket, but you haven't lost any depth of your page. The next thing I'm going to do is just use my punch and trim these corners on the fold down section. I like the stub cut look. Now you could do this before you start sticking your page together and do it on all six, just on that short tab. And then to stick that little tab down, you can use tape underneath here and here to stick it down. But again, if you want that whole depth, take a small piece of our black construction tape. I'll put the link to the tape underneath in the description as well and just take it over the top and bottom edge like that or if you want to cover that edge completely just cut a piece of tape that is the same width as the little section here where the curve joins the edge of the album. stick it on and fold it under and once you've got your papers on your page all of the tape edges will be covered and you'll 
have really neat pages. So here are all of mine that I've done already. So I should have six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're ready to stick into the album. So let's bring the album back in. Now it's hiding under a pile. I'm going to put the album in front of me so that you can see how the pages go in. So decide which is going to be your front and which is going to be the back of your album, um, especially if you've decorated the cover already. And you can use tape or tacky glue to stick your pages in, whichever you fancy. I'm just going to use tacky glue for mine. And I'm going to start at the back of the album. So at the back of the album, on the sixth spine, your pages get stuck to the front of each spine. So I'm working from the back forwards. I want to put one page on the front of the sixth spine. It's got a pocket at the front. So let's do that. A little bit of tacky glue on the spine mount. Drop your page onto the spine mount. Just make sure that it's sitting level between the top and bottom edges of your album. And when you're happy that it's sitting level, just press down on your glue. But before you really stick it down firmly, just make sure that your page, it might come a little unstuck, will move backwards and forwards without clicking. Now, if you want to take some tape and just to put an extra bit of support on the back of that spine mount, then do. That will all get covered with paper. And because it's really fine, you won't um, see it or feel it under the papers either. So that's page number six on. And then you want to bring page number five in. And page number five, this one, goes that way with the pocket and the short opening to the left but it's going to get stuck onto the front of the fifth spine so it actually goes in flat side facing in. So glue on the front of the spine. You can use tape to do this if you want to if you prefer like the flexibility of the glue and being able to move the pages. So what you need to do now is line up your page with the page that you've already put in, so your top and bottom um, edges are level, stick down onto your spine, so the page is sitting just to the right of the crease between the spine mount bottom and the spine mount sticking up a bit. Make sure that it moves and if you want to just add a little bit of extra support on the back just use a little bit of tape. So that's that one in. Let's flip over and then the next page set these are actually two just flat surfaces with the um, pocket facing the front of the album. But remember, we're going to stick it onto the front of this tab. So you've got all the detail pockets on the right. Is that the right or the left? <laughs> the left. <laughs> I'm confusing you. And you're sticking onto the front of the spine. So glue on. Line your page up with the one that's underneath it, your top and bottom edges. And when you're happy, stick it down and tape it on the back if you want to. I'm 
not putting the tape right to the edge of the page. I'm only putting it under the sort of the section of the spine mount where the points come in. And then the next one wants to go on to match so pockets together, but again it's going to go onto the front of the spine. So fold the spine backwards, glue on the front. So you've got pockets as opposites, stick the spine to your page, line it up with your top and bottom edge, check that it moves, it doesn't click, and let's put a little bit of tape on there. I'm also bringing the tape in from the edge of the page so that when the paper goes onto the page it covers it. So next one, pockets to the front of your album, spine folded towards the back, glue on the front, flat side up to the front of the spine mount up, lining up your top and bottom edge, check that it's sitting straight in your album, and stick down, flip over a little bit of tape. So it's quite simple, you're just creating pages as opposite sets. And then the last one goes in onto the front of the first spine with the pockets as opposites. So the open edge is, if I put that one on wrong, open edge, open edge, no that's it. This one's gone on wrong. Let me just take it off. So you always want to have the big open edge. It's another thing with the tape, the glue, you can just lift your page off quite quickly as long as you catch it. So when you put it on, you want to be putting it with the open edge outwards. So it's the fold that's going, yeah, it's the fold that's going onto the spine mount. Let's position it. And stick it down. Lift it up. Now I've got a gammy edge here, so I'm going to use some more of the black tape. I'm going to put a strip of black tape down that edge to cover up my mistake because we all make them don't we but we can sort it out so a strip of black tape straight down the edge I'm going to mitre the corners back so that when the paper gets stuck onto the page you don't see curly tape ends curling up Same on this one, so I'm going to cut it straight first. Trim the outer edge. Get rid of all these black sticky bits. Mix it up. Once 
and then once you've mitered your ends, just fold it over nice and tightly. And then you'd never know we've had a whoopsie when the papers are on. Fold that backwards and put the last page on. So last tab towards the back of the album, glue all over it. Smooth it down, and you're going to put the front. Now, let's just do this the right way. Yeah, you're going to put the front with the matching pockets facing each other onto the spine mount. Make sure that it's sitting straight, moves properly, and then if you want to tape it, just add a little bit of tape. And that's it. That's your little album all ready to decorate in your favourite papers, whatever they may be. Mine were Enchanted Forest papers and I think they've made a gorgeous heritage album or vintage keepsake. I did decorate the spine which covers up that join. Here we've got an offset join on the spine and I did decorate the back. The nice thing about this little album is because it's six by six, you can get four sections out of a 12 by 12 sheet to cover um, the pages, the inside covers. And then the pages, because the pages are five and three quarter inches deep and out of a 12 by 12 sheet, you can get four um, pages covered if you wanted to um, maybe just use four or five sheets of 12 by 12. Um, looking at what I've used in the album, um, there are some patterns and solids in here as well. And again, they're six by six, so they work perfectly in the album. So have fun. I hope you've enjoyed that. And I hope you make some gorgeous albums.